Today I'm going to share three of my favourite smoothie recipes that I've been enjoying lately. As much as you see me always making smoothies, it's been a while since I've shared some recipes and these three are super delicious and always hit the spot. Smoothies are an essential for me, I love them, they're quick, easy and nutritious and I'm going to share some tips on how to get the most out of your smoothies. When it comes to smoothies and smoothie bowls, a common question I get asked is what blender do I use and recommend and I think that calls for a separate video because I have used a variety of blenders over the years and I have quite a few still um, and on my bench over there I have a Thermomix and this is a Vitamix um, so for today's video I'm going to be using the Vitamix Pro 750 but I will definitely do a separate video to kind of like go through what I like and dislike about each of them. So with my smoothies I often have a lot of add-ins but these ones that I'm showing you today are very simple and minimal ingredients and the first one is a strawberry milkshake kind of smoothie. I love it, it is super creamy and to go in this is some soy milk. Now my go-to plant-based milks for smoothies are either soy milk, coconut milk or coconut water. I find those are the tastiest and adding a plant-based milk is a great way to add some calcium and protein to your smoothies. Then we have frozen strawberries and banana and some healthy fats and protein. So flax milk, vanilla protein powder, and these are going to make your smoothies more filling and nutritious. Other options you can add in are chia seeds, hemp seeds, oats, nut butters, avocado, protein powder. All those are going to really make it more filling and nutritious. <music> This tastes so delicious. It's creamy, has that strawberry milkshake feel to it, and I love it. And if you don't like strawberries, you can always use a different berry, like raspberries would be really nice and refreshing in this. Next is my green protein smoothie. Easiest way to get in your greens, and if you are worried about the flavor, an easy way to mask it is by using tropical fruits. So I like to use mango, but you can also add in pineapple, or you can add in a splash of orange juice, maybe not with the soy milk but if you're using coconut water some orange juice in there would be really nice for this i am using soy milk again then i have frozen banana frozen mango and i always love to have ripe frozen fruits ready to go in the freezer i always keep it stocked up with different variety of berries um, mango pineapple um, so i always can make delicious combinations some spinach mint which will also help to mask the flavor but if you are not a fan of mint then don't use that um, on instagram i recently shared a choc chip mint smoothie so if you like mint check that out then we have flax meal and hemp seeds vanilla protein powder and some greens powder i love adding this in it's optional but it's a great way to get that extra boost of nutrition it's rich in iron so this one here i think per teaspoon has 13 milligrams of iron so if you want a iron boost smoothie definitely get some greens in there so delicious and tropical I love it lastly I'm going to show you this delicious salted caramel shake so this is just dreamy it's sweet and perfect for this I'm adding in some oat milk frozen banana some ice cubes pitted medjool dates flax meal and then I have a bit of iodized salt that is a great way to get some iodine in your diet and then vanilla extract and maca powder Let me know down below in the comments if you enjoy these three smoothie recipes and also I'm keen to know what your favorite smoothie recipe is. I'd love to give it a try. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video and also let me know if you want to see the blender review and a smoothie bowl version of this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!